Hello everyone, welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your readings for September 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. I want to give a big old shout out to all the Virgos out there. Very, very happy birthday to you. We are officially in Virgo season as far as Western astrology is concerned. And I want to give a shout out to the September Libras. Yes, very happy birthday to you guys as well. So please keep in mind that these are general readings. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you'd like to look into your own personal situation please go ahead and email me all the information is in the description box below yeah so for those of you that are new I want to give you a little bit of insight as to these readings on my channel these are not really specific to anything obviously we are doing this by sign but this is not love or career specific okay this is you could think of this as just the the messages that spirit has for you uh, having a conversation or a discussion with spirit about what is going on in your life at this time also keep in mind that just because these are dated for september of 2019 these readings are meant to be timeless yeah so whenever this resonates for you if it's in september if it's after september of 2019 please just take that message if it resonates for you at that time then that's the message for you at this time i i am speaking to the zodiac sign in question here but as a cross watcher you know this could be something that resonates for you as well if you are watching for someone uh, if you're cross watching for someone yeah I would love it if you guys would follow me if you're not already doing so on Instagram you can find me at divine underscore conversations you can also find me on Facebook at uh, facebook.com slash divine conversations 2711 if you would like to book a personal reading with me please just email me um, Instagram would be a good uh, other another option you know to to choose um, but Facebook is not a good option. Like I, I even mentioned this in my video last month. Um, I rarely check my Facebook messages. I don't always get them right away also. So if you're trying to get a reading with me, the best bet is to just find my email address in the description box below and email me there. I also have all of the readings that I offer and their prices and descriptions listed in the description box below. So if you would like a reading, please read through that and then email me. Again, Instagram is a good alternative, but that always isn't the most reliable, okay? The, your best bet, if you would like to get a personal reading with me, is to just email me, okay? With that said, I guess we're ready, so let's get to it. <laughs> hey there, Taurus. Welcome to your reading for September 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in, yeah? Two things, one, um, I, uh, there is construction going on across the street, so you're most likely going to hear it um, during throughout the video. They do get fairly loud at certain points. I apologize if that's really super distracting, but there is absolutely zero that I can do about that, unfortunately. So we're just going to have to keep it pushing. Yeah, we're not going to let that stop us. Second, I do recognize that I have, have been having some audio issues with my microphone uh, this past week as I've been recording these readings. Um, I do think I have gotten it under control at this point, but if at any point you do hear that the vo that the microphone gets a little crackly or goes in and out at some point, I apologize for that. But honestly, I, I mean, I can't. I have no way of monitoring the sound as I'm recording. So I mean, I'm a one man band here. So, um, but we're gonna doing our best. All right, let's just keep it pushing. Okay, Taurus, getting into your overall energy. Um, you know. This is, I'm in your pre-shuffle right now. I have your pre-shuffle here. Um, and I do, I feel like there's some sort of anxiety, um, fearfulness that is surrounding you right now. Um, and it's funny because uh, as I, I just finished the Aries reading and now I'm trans, I was, as I was transitioning from Aries energy into Taurus energy, I was trying to clear out the deck and some cards were coming out. The Nine of Swords came out and then the Two of Pentacles, Pentacles came out. Um, and so that's kind of where I'm getting a little bit of this fearful energy coming through here. I just feel like there's tension around you right now. But then with, with the rest of the pre-shuffle here, you have the King of Swords, which was the first card that came out, all right? So I feel like this is your energy here. This is you. Um, and I feel like you need to have some sort of conversation with somebody because there are burdens. I mean, you have the Eight of Wands and the Ten of Wands here, all right? The Eight of Wands does represent communication. Um, swift, fast communication, maybe through email, text message, whatnot, whatever. Ten of Wands is burdens, all right? And then underneath the uh, overall energy, underneath the deck, you have the Seven of Pentacles. I, I, I feel like you've come to a point, Taurus, where enough is enough. 
Um, you've carried burdens, certain burdens for long enough, for certain people for long enough, and now it's time to let them go. But that's kind of where the anxiety is coming in, potentially, with that Nine of Swords energy that came out. Um, it seems you need to have a conversation, a very real conversation, and you don't know how that's going to be taken. For some, it may not go well. You may be anticipating that it didn't, it's not going to go well. But to be quite honest, this is what's needed right now. Because I, I really feel like what's coming through with this Seven of Pentacles energy is whatever it is that you need to be cutting out of your life, whatever burdens that you need to, be carry, uh, need to no longer carry, is in service of your own well-being. Because with this Seven of Pentacles energy, I feel like you have come to a point where it's like you have a deeper understanding of what it is you truly desire to manifest and harvest in your life. Okay? Do, I'm hearing a specific message. Doing extra work for other people is taking away your time for yourself. And that no longer can stand. Period. Somebody needs to set the record straight here, Taurus. Okay? Now, this could be you or this could be someone you're connecting with. No, I'm not going to take that one. All right, guys. Let's get into this here. I'm going to do a reset shuffle. Ten of Pentacles. Interesting. Yeah, some of you have come to the end of a relationship. Something has come to term. Um, a lesson has been learned. This could have to do with family. This could have to do with career and finances. Your work situation okay here we go Taurus hi spirit please make me a clear channel for all Taurans Sun moon rising and Venus please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of September 2019 Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Taurus, we're giving this five shuffles. And we'll see what we've got for you here, yeah? One, for my Taurans, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Two, for the month of September 2019. Best messages, please, Spirit. Three. Four, for my Taurans, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of September 2019. And five. All right, guys. Here we go. Boop. All right. Overall energy, the Two of Pentacles. Okay, so the two cards that came out in the before I even started recording um, were definitely for Torrens. And I was feeling it, I was feeling that way, but I just wasn't exactly sure. But now the Two of Pentacles has come back out again. And the Two of Pentacles was one of the two cards, five, five, five on the counter. Two of Pentacles was one of the two cards that came out in between, you know, Aries and Taurus, but it actually was for Taurus. The other one was the Nine of Swords. What the Two of Pentacles is representing for you, Taurus, is um, maintaining balance. For some of you, you were, you were picking up slack for others just to maintain balance. And for some of you, you knew full well that this was not your responsibility, but for some reason you decided to do it anyway. I guess to be a team player, to be a good sport, blah, 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 to, to keep the peace. There's definitely a people pleaser energy in that. Okay, in that circumstance. But now this is shifting to where I do feel like some of you are making external cuts, maybe even internal cuts, being um, in your internal reality, that like the thoughts and the thoughts and beliefs that you hold and whatnot, the the vibration that you hold, which would lead to external cuts because your internal reality is directly reflected into your external, right? Directly reflected by your external reality. Now there are adjustments being made to bring greater balance into your life in terms of reciprocity. Okay, underneath the Two of Pentacles, you have judgment because some of you have woken up. I mean, it's, and this, this could be, this could be um, an ascension 
situation for you, or you finally just heard, got the message, heard the wake up call, heard the call that it is time to let some shit go. It is time to allow some people to be responsible for their own circumstances, situations, whatnot, whatever, to stop taking over responsibility for someone else's bullshit. Okay. Underneath the judgment, you have the Knight of Swords. Good golly. There really is some sort of conversation that needs to be had. All right. The Knight of Swords can be seen as the surgical procedure. <laughs> okay. Going in and making those cuts, having the conversations to set the, set the record straight. Underneath the Knight of Swords, you do have the Knight of Wands. Excellent. Passion. Exuberance, understanding. This is also my light worker card here. I do feel like this is a light worker type energy, or this is an energy in which, and this could be very temporary. You may not be the type of person to like be a light worker or identify with any of that spiritual, airy fairy shit, whatnot, whatever. Okay, fine. But this does feel like a temporary moment of sharing wisdom, spreading light, being almost being like a, ty a, a light worker. Mm. Oh goodness, excuse me. That was really loud. <laughs> Sorry guys, <laughs> that was so rude. I apologize. Um, yeah, all right. I'm definitely hearing temporary light worker status here, which is a good thing. Just, just be careful with being overly righteous, overly self-righteous even, all right? All right, Taurus. Getting into the rest of your reading here, we have first half, second half. You can look at this as the first half of your month and the second half of your month, but I recommend you look at it as first half, second half of your reading because time is an illusion, energies are fluid, and these messages are going to be intertwining all over the place, okay? But if it does resonate as first half, second half of the month, then by all means, please go ahead with that. First set of surrounding energies for you in the first half of your reading here, Taurus, you have the Hanged Man. And gosh, I forgot to pull... to. I, okay, you have the Hanged Man. The Hanged Man is in reverse. I keep forgetting to put this back upright because I don't have re reversals. I'm trying not to read reversals in this deck with these cards, but I keep forgetting to put that back in the deck upright. But, what, but it came out for Aries also, which, is, which I find to be hilarious. Um, but... What this means is enlightenment, a sense of enlightenment has been reached. It could mean that it, there's a blockage towards enlightenment because technically it's reversed, but that's not what I'm picking up here. And Spirit is saying that's not what it is for this section of the collective that I am channeling for. You have reached a, a certain a level of um, enlightenment, a certain level of change in perspective that is allowing you to bring greater truth and clarity into your life. Some of you are breaking free from some form of conformity, which is big for a fixed sign. Because fixed signs are very much, uh, if anyone is going to conform, it's a fixed sign, if not a mutable sign, which really only leaves cardinal signs. But I, I think you know what I mean, what, what I'm saying, yes? The hanged man, in reverse, is coupled with the queen of pentacles. So there is a level of compassion that has come into play here. The queen of pentacles can represent Capricorn energy, but I do feel like this is you. But also it is, it does kind of make sense that there is a form of cardinal energy with this queen of pentacles in what you're experiencing right now. There is a deeper, deeper sense of unconditional love, acceptance, nurturance, it's very much an energy of saying, look, I'm not going to do all of your work for you. I am absolutely here for you. You don't have to worry about that, but I in no way am I going to pick up your slack. That is your responsibility, says the Queen of Pentacles, okay? It's like you finally reached this understanding that you can be unconditionally loving and nurturing and supportive to the people that you love and the people that you have made this commitment to, but that does not mean that you have to do it for them. Because also keep in mind that the Queen of Pentacles is very much a tough love type of person or individual or energy, okay? Some of you may have actually figured out how to communicate this now 
where in the past you may not have known how to do it, and so you just kept up with it, okay? Second set of surrounding energies in the first half of your reading here, Taurus, you have the Seven of Pentacles. Yet again, you've learned. You've figured out what it is you need to know and what it is you need to do in order to get the ideal harvest that you desire in your life. Seven of Pentacles is coupled with temperance. A greater sense of balance has come into play for you here. There's also a, a, a need for patience, but that's not necessarily the strongest message that's coming through. The stronger message is coming, that's coming through is that a, a, a deeper sense of balance and harmony and understanding has come into play here. Beautiful, Taurus. Your challenge in the first half of your reading here, you have the Ten of Swords. The challenge in terms of the Ten of Swords is taking the action that you need to take to really close out this cycle. The cycle is not going to close out, Taurus, by you sitting back and doing nothing and just letting things slip away. You are going to have to take action. You are going to have to set the record straight in some way, shape, or form. Okay? You cannot be passive about this, Taurus. So, the challenge here is to... Bring this to a close. Do whatever it is that you need to do. Have whatever conversation. Take whatever steps that you need to take in order to bring this to a close. Okay? Ten of Swords is coupled with the Chariot. Cancerian energy. But the Chariot is movement, is action. Is going towards that which you desire led by your balance of emotions and or masculine and feminine energy and or light and dark and or good or bad, you get what I'm saying. Action needs to be taken to move yourself away from whatever the Ten of Swords represents, okay? Closing message or potential outcome here, Taurus, in the first half of your reading, you have Seven of Cups, Confusion, Options, I really don't feel like there's all that much confusion anymore. If there is confusion, it's just because you're seeing all of these things in front of you that need to be dealt with. And maybe you don't know how to deal with them necessarily, or maybe you don't know which one to deal with first. Okay, Seven of Cups is coupled with the Five of Wands. Wow, there are lots of differing opinions here. There are lots of different emotions here, even. And I, I, this, feels, this really feels very external. You've come to a, a certain understanding about what resonates for you, what works for you, but other people may not necessarily agree. And honestly, you're really just going to have to let it be that way. You can't change someone else's mind for them, but that does not mean that you have to continue carrying burdens that are not yours to carry. And it's, it's, it's interesting because as a Taurus, you are very strong, okay? I do, I, I mean, I'm in, in the Western chart, my sun sign is in Taurus, and I can be very much a tank and just like take anything and just keep going, keep moving, you know? But just because you have that ability, Taurus, it doesn't mean that you have to be that. Wouldn't you rather be a tank for yourself and what it is you're truly desiring to manifest and, and experience and push for instead of having to do that for other people that just don't want to keep up their end of the bargain or don't, just don't want to follow through or just don't want to take responsibility for themselves? Hell no. Ultimately, this is a situation centered around differing of opinion. And I'm gonna share uh, my favorite phrase, y'all. Opinions are like assholes, everybody's got one. Doesn't make anybody right, more right or wrong than the other. It's really just about what is best for you. And these other people may say, well, what's best for me is you helping me with this or you doing X, Y, and Z with, for me with this. And it's like, um, no, actually you should be doing this yourself. 
I'm not going to do it for you. If you want to go ahead and find someone else to do it for you, that's on you. But that is not my duty. That is not my responsibility. OK. Getting into the second half of your reading here, Taurus, first set of surrounding energies you have. The fool. Having released those burdens, you can now take a leap of faith, fancy free, moving in a direction that is much, much better for you, much more in alignment with you. The fool is coupled with the Ten of Pentacles. Yes, because you have learned this lesson. I do see the Ten of Pentacles as a big well, Tens are completions. Yes. So uh, 10 is a number of completion. So I do see the 10 of pentacles as a life lesson learned. Like you finished this class here in your time on earth school. Now you can move forward to the next lesson, to the next course, whatever, however you want to describe it, define it. That's beautiful, Taurus. For some of you, you really are going to be completely free of any of the burdens from your past. Beautiful. Second set of surrounding energies in the second half of your reading here, Taurus. You have, damn, the King of Pentacles. Well, there you are. Shit, man. You have the King and the Queen of Pentacles here, guys. That is balance. That is some serious balance. Especially when it comes to you being very, very well manifested, sure of yourself. You have a deeper understanding of yourself. You have a deeper love respect, and respect for yourself. The Queen, of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles is embodying that care and compassion, the motherly aspect. Whereas the King of Pentacles is embodying the fatherly aspect, also the action-taking element. But it is tempered by this care and compassion and of the feminine energy, your internal feminine energy. Beautiful. King of Pentacles is coupled with, oh damn, the King of Cups. So not only are you physically balanced, you're emotionally balanced. This is emotional responsibility with the King of Cups here and taking action from that place. Your physical reality is in check, your emotions are in check, beautiful. King of Cups is also Scorpio energy. And to be quite honest, number one, Scorpio is your, your opposite sign in the Zodiac, okay, as a Tauren. Number two, though, Scorpio can be a fairly destructive energy, right? But I feel like the destructive element that's coming through with this emotional or Scorpio energy has to do with setting things into greater balance. So destroying that which would upset the ideal balance for yourself. Because look at it this way, and some of you are already embodying this, you're just not seeing it this way, others of you need to hear this. But you cannot be there for the people that you love and care for you cannot support the people that you love and care for if you are not there and supportive for yourself first. And that's what I see coming through here with the kings of cups and pentacles. Okay? Beautiful. Emotional balance, emotional maturity, emotional responsibility. Coupled with physical balance, physical maturity, physical responsibility. I mean, damn. Good on you, Taurus. Your challenge. Now, also, if you have not, uh, before I go further, if you have not reached this yet, if you are a Tauren and you're watching this and you're like, no, this is not resonating with me, then maybe this is not a message for you or maybe this is something that you're going to be learning about throughout the month of September. Same for a cross watcher. If you are watching this for a Tauren and you're like, mm, no, I don't see this happening. Well, maybe this is not them, their message or maybe this is something they're gonna be learning about in the month of September, okay? I just felt com oddly compelled to, to clarify that. But anyway, your challenge in the second half of your reading here, Taurus. Three of Pentacles, okay. Teamwork. Achieving a sense of balance in, in, in the teamwork. 
also self-mastery. Now, with all of this that has been said about releasing the burdens that you no longer need to carry for other people, that does not mean you, you're, you're not allowed to help. It does not mean that you're, you're not allowed to help out. If somebody needs to help, genuinely needs to help, then help them. But if you're dealing with people that are basically just slacking off and are expecting you to pick up the slack just because they don't want to do it, and quite frankly, you've just done it in the past, so you might as well do it now, no. That's the kind of energy you need to cut out, okay? Three of Pentacles is coupled with the star, beautiful. Wish fulfillment, but healing. This is your challenge in the second half of your reading here. Aquarian energy. I mean, I do feel like your wish is f for people, for you and others to work together in tandem. Maybe for some of you, your wish that you're working on achieving here is being in balance with yourself, having a greater sense of self-mastery for yourself to not allow people to take advantage of you. Uh, beautiful. Okay, that's great. I do feel like you're going to be able to achieve it should you take the action steps towards doing it. you got to take the action. Okay? You have to be somewhat assertive here. You can't be passive about this any longer, Taurus, all right? Closing message or potential outcome in the second half of your reading here, Taurus, you have, ooh, the Four of Cups. Mm, all right. Some of you are actually really, really resisting this. Like you're really resisting this, some of you, Taurans. The universe is handing you a golden opportunity to have a greater emotional balance. And yet you're looking at that like, no, I don't wanna. You don't wanna what, Taurus? You don't wanna upset the balance? If people are taking advantage of you, how balanced is that? Mm. I, I, I'm cautioning some of you against letting this be a missed opportunity because it looks like there is a potential that it could very well be a missed opportunity and you're just going to have to re-experience re this cycle until you make some sort of change. Four of Cups is coupled with the Five of Swords. You are sabotaging yourself. If you do not take this opportunity, Taurus, you will be sabotaging yourself. Now, I mean, obviously it's not the end of the world, okay? You know, it's not necessarily going to kill you. I mean, you might die inside a little bit, but that doesn't mean you can't regain what, you, what may have been lost. It doesn't mean that you're not going to get another chance to do this. And quite frankly, you're going to have, you have infinite chances to do this. Taurus. But see, here's the thing. How many times do you want to have to experience this before you finally get the message and make the change? Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Yeah. All right. Okay. So, so I do want to point out actually that, um, some of you may have a connection with an Aries in which this is resonating. Some of you may have Aries in your chart in which this is resonating. Um, or this is in which you would resonate with in terms of the Aries reading, okay? And I say that specifically because Aries got the hanged man in reverse as the very first card in their first set of surrounding energies in the first half of their reading, and they got the five of swords at the very end, just like you have, okay? So there could be an Aries-Taurus connection. You could have Aries and Taurus in your chart, but check that reading out. You might want to, you might, there might be some similarities there. You might get extra guidance. I'm also feeling compelled to mention that this really could be a strong message for a cross watcher dealing with a Tauren. Okay. All right. So Oracle guidance here for my Taurens, sun, moon, rising, and Venus for the month of September. All right, Taurus. Let's see what we've got. Oh, goodness gracious. This thing just keeps falling down. Just keeps falling. 
All right, let's see what we've got for you, Taurus. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus for the month of September. Oracle message, please, spirit. Whoa. Okay. I'm going to take this one. All right, we have... Ooh, card number 32. Faith in the process. Three and two definitely boil down to a five, which is indicative of change. All right, faith in the process. No matter how powerful we are, how much courage and strength we have, there are times when we can't quite move ourselves along to the next phase of life or creative exploration. At such times, we need some divine intervention, a little, a little help in pulling our trolley along, so to speak. When we are at the edge of our own limits and have no more personal resources, we might be left with only one spiritual power, that of faith. Fortunately, that is enough. As unlikely as it may seem, the invisible help from the universe is often more powerful than the physical efforts of a thousand men. That is because the invisible help is not limited by physical laws. It can shift, bend, and move in ways that, define, that defy limitation. It can affect, evoke, and influence situations through invisible but undeniably per persuasive means. You are in a situation where you cannot, quote, set right the course of events all by yourself. This is not an indication that you have done something wrong, nor does this suggest that you are not strong enough. It is a sign that there is something bigger unfolding in your life, and your willpower will be supplemented by the power of life itself. Sometimes a bigger plan needs to manifest for the benefit of humanity and the earth. You need to shift your perspective to realize that you are part of the greater unfoldment of life, that your individual life serves the greater plan, and that you are not separate from its genius. That is what is happening now. You happen to be instrumental to the greater plan, and as such, you need to accept your, po your position and be moved, while also being empowered and protected as you make personal progress through your role in that grander scheme. This is a time for humility and trust. You need complete faith in the process and events that are happening. There is nothing to worry about. You will be moved most fully and easily and with the most grace and assurance through your faithful surrender. Ironically, it is, as th it is through complete surrender and total faith that we become the most empowered. We are, when we are no longer trying to impede the perfection of the greater plan, we can be aligned with and moved by the process. Having faith in the benevolence of life, rather than harboring the suspicion that life is seeking to catch us out, have a joke at our expense, or carelessly toss us about as though, we are, as though we mean nothing, then we can relax a little. Having faith in the process gives you space to be curious about what has taken place, and to relax enough to open to what we are most in need of, even if we aren't exactly sure what that is or how it can happen. The guidance from this oracle comes direct from the greater source of life itself. There is now an opportunity for you to be moved from the situation you are currently in to the next chapter in your life story. You can't do it on your own. It is too big of a shift. It needs the grace of life to intervene on your behalf. You will need faith, though. You may feel as though the wheels of your trolley are coming off or that you are a bit rickety, but you must also understand that the voice of life is now coming straight into your heart with this message. I have resources you know not of. It is safe to trust in my ways and in my wisdom, for I love you and I am guiding you into all that is rightfully yours. Know that what is rightfully yours is what your heart truly desires and you need not fear loss. Nothing that is meant to come to you will be denied and it is safe for you to let go and allow me to move you. Through faith, peace is restored and you are able to know this and perhaps have some fun in the process. So there you have it, Taurus. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Again, if you'd like to look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All of the information is in the description box below. With that said, I hope you guys have a great month, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of October. Y'all, yeah? take care. Mwah! Bye.